Hi guys, welcome back to the workshop. I'm Nick Reeves, this is my boy Ewan. In this video, we're making a start on the first project in the new workshop. Um, the workshop's got a bit on top of me recently, so I'm trying to have a bit of a break from that, or worrying about that, and actually going to do some modelling. What have we got? Well, as you saw in the title, this is going to be a brief uh, project. Um, it started out as a uh, too good to go in the skip idea. The fuselage, as you see it here right now, with the engine that's fitted, the three servos that's in it, switch, um, I picked up for I think 15 quid. Can't remember. It's either 15 or 20 quid. Um, the guy might even be watching this. Um, he was prepared just to bin it because it wasn't worth anything to him. So I thought, I'll have that, it'd be a project one day. And I was hunting around, trying to find uh, a wing for it. Now this is a Watt 4 Classic, um, but it's actually uh, uh, a clone model. It's not a kit, it's not the ARTF. Uh, and I can tell that just by how it's constructed. Someone has taken an original Watt 4, copied it as best they can, and made it their own. I'm not trying to, what's the word, encourage that sort of thing. But this model is too good to scrap. So what we want to do is make it into a hack that we can just go and fly and not worry about. To do that, I want to strip it, I want to refurb it, I want to make it good. So I got the fuselage and then I didn't have a wing. I put a message out on one of the Facebook groups here in the UK and somebody, it was actually when we were on our way on holiday, wasn't it? We were on our way down on holiday to Cornwall and the chap said, I've got a what for wing you can have if you want it. Um, I managed to craft them all and smash a few large, but the wing's fine. And it's this wing. Again, I paid 15 quid for it. It's got two servos in it. And as far as I can see, without a detailed look, the only thing that's wrong is the aileron hinges have pulled. So rehinge the ailerons, it should be good to go. What else is wrong with the model? Well, quite a bit, to be honest. Um, starting at the front, the engine itself, it's a, a Sanenia 40. Yeah, Enya 40 SS, good engines, but this one, the carb is solid. Um, I suspect and hope it's just due to carter buildup. Um, but on the plus side, I bet there's no plug in there just now. It is smooth as anything to turn over. It's not gummed up at all. So that's a, a bonus. The fuselage itself is pretty strong. Um, Structurally, there's a few little cracks in it which I can just run some super glue into and be fine. Um, the tank will come out and it will get replumbed. The servos that are in here will be checked. If they work, they'll stay in. If I'm happy with them, they'll stay in. Moving further back is where the biggest problems are. I don't know if you can see from your angle, but that can't be good. The only thing that's holding that in just now is the covering. The fin's pretty solid, but I think the fin goes into the tailplane, so it's all loose. I need to take the covering off. It's not hinged either. I need to take the covering off and have a look. And as Ewan has pointed out, there isn't a middle hinge on the rudder. The tailplane is pulled as well, so it's it all needs taken off and checked out. But again, if we're doing a full refurb, it's not the end of the world. So the plan for this is as I said to turn it into a general hack for us both to fly. Um, it's not going to be an overpowered thing, it's just going to be something that's going to be reliable, just charge it and go and fly it. Where do we start with the refurb? Well, the whole idea is we've got to strip it down and see what's needing done. Before we do that, I want to get the engine running, um, even if it's just running for a few seconds to prove that it will run, before I take it off the model, because it's a lot easier to run it on here quickly than it is to try and get it into the test stand and so on and so forth. Once it runs in here, I'll happily take it off as part of the strip down, get it into the test stand, get it all cleaned up, get it running nicely on there, get it run in as such, get it cleaned out, and then it can go back in once the model's ready. Then we can strip all the covering off, um, find out what is broken at the back end. It should be a simple fix, and then recover it. Um, there's nothing untoward. Now, the cannier amongst you might have noticed that I said this is a classic fuselage, and it's actually a Mark III wing. 
it doesn't matter. The only difference being between these two is this has got banded on wing points and this is a bolted on wing. What I plan on doing, it's not going to look pretty, but I'm going to chop the dowels off and band this wing onto here. It'll work, it'll fly. And that's all I want for all I want it to do. If somebody pans this into the ground, we haven't lost anything. We've we would have lost say 30 quid for buying the bits, some time to recover it, and the cost of covering, say a tenor in covering. It's not going to be an expensive model. But it could end up being a lot of fun. So engine running. Strip it down, see what we've got. There'll be some subsequent videos in this project. Um, but for now, we're going to end this video here. And we're going to see if we can't get this engine to fire up, which will come in the next video. Um, if you're following this channel, great. Thank you. Give us a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button down the bottom. Any comments, any criticisms, any feedback, please put it in the, in the comments below. But from me and him, I'm Nick Reeves, and this is our hobbies.